Hello, hola and bonjour everybody, it's Matthew from Macro Bros Bodybuilding, MB3. Today I'm doing a kind of a topic video, something that's really hit me hard in these last couple of days even, weeks you could say. So as you know I've been trying, I've been converting to powerlifting, I've been doing these set, five sets of five, I've tried to do around... Um, um, a new max, basically every workout I do, every overhead press, bench press, deadlift, and squat that I do. So that's all fine and dandy, but it suddenly hit me today because, as you guys have known from some of my past videos, around a week ago, I got a new squatting max of, it was five reps of 315. Now, I'm doing five sets of five, so I brought it down 20 pounds to 295 pounds. So, and I knew I could easily get there for five reps. So today, after having only a week off of rest, I went for five sets of five at 295. When I started out, actually the first set, I didn't have a spotter, and I wasn't so confident. I, th I thought I was. I only did three reps. Then for the following four sets, I did four reps each. So I actually only got five sets of four, and the first one was only three. So gee, well, that was depressing, going into the workout, not even getting my goal was. So, but I know I could have done that the previous week. Maybe it was because Doug was there, I had a training partner, I was just more motivated at the time. I'm not sure, but what I do know of is that I did not have proper recovery time. So, I always kind of think of recovery, it's kind of like me being young and people being young. Whenever you get like a sore shoulder, something kind of hurts, something doesn't feel quite right. Literally, we just, Doug and I just say, I'll just sleep it off, like, tomorrow I'll be fine. And sure enough, you wake up, and you're completely fine the next day. Maybe that we're just lucky, but I think it's just because we're young. So the main thing I've learned is that you need to take breaks between these major, like, lifts. Like, getting, going for new maxes. You, you just can't do it every week. So what I'm going to do, instead of doing a new max every week, I'm going to take, in between that week, at least one week of doing hypertrophy movements. Hypertrophy movements with that exercise. So instead of doing deadlifts for a max set, I'll just do like hyper extensions. Or maybe I'll deadlift with just with a lighter weight. And then the next week, if I really feel motivated, I might do it. Or I may even do two hypertrophy weeks just because it really hit me hard today that I just can't sustain this level of intensity in increasing week by week, my muscles just cannot um, recover that fast without any like performance any enhancing drugs or anything like that. So that was the point of this video. Make sure to take the proper amount of time off. Like, I don't want to say like don't go to the gym some days, but just, and don't do like deload weeks, I don't even believe in those. I have a video on that previously. Just just go take it easier. You just can't, just don't go for new maxes week by week. You can go ahead and try. Maybe you're special. Maybe you're, maybe it's just something with me. But I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for the whole fitness population when I say you can't get new maxes every week. Honestly, I did that when I was younger, like bench press. Literally, almost every couple of days, Doug and I would. I'd start with like 95 pounds, I'd be like, oh, I can get 105, then i keep going up like 10 pounds twice a week. But I don't know if that's just the newbie gains or if I just wasn't pushing my potential in the beginning. Anyway, yeah, the, I already got the main point across. Make sure to have proper recovery time. So, hope you guys liked the video, learned a little something. Speaking of that, if you liked it, you can go ahead and like the video, throw it on a comment, and even subscribe. Remember, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. I don't want to offend anybody, but you're being a complete moron buying these products. You can tell I'm not sponsored by any of them. So anyway, uh, that's just my opinion. Go